Now, you were born in Toronto. You yes. Grew, you grew up in Ottawa. Yes. Uh, somehow you've made your way uh, to the Comox Valley. I have a big thumb. <laughs> <laughs> was the, uh, why did why did you end up moving out here? Was the and it, does the vibe suit your music better, or it, do you suit the vibe better? Oh, well, I, I, both. I hope. Yeah. I mean, I, I moved out here because I wanted to be where mountains met the ocean. You know, so I, I had to get away from the. Toronto lifestyle, the Ottawa lifestyle, <laughs> get out here. And I was much more comfortable. I could, I was with kindred spirits when I came here, kindred souls, you know, so it was much better for me. Mm -hmm. and, and then I didn't really do much music there, you know, I just started my music late in life. And so my music developed from living here. You know. M music wasn't your first career then? No, I used to, I have had a few careers. I was a ski racer, which is kind of a career, but I also have, um, yeah, I have a degree in kinesiology, so I kind of tried to, you know, get into the athletic world a little bit, and mm -hmm. then became a teacher after that. So I've been a school teacher, an athlete, and now a musician. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect natural segue, isn't it? Well, I kind of, now I combine both, because eh? it's a very athletic thing I do up there with when I have my, my drums going. And <laughs> what kind of school teaching were you doing? What were you teaching? High school. I was a high school phys ed teacher. Yeah, I taught a little <laughs> bit of social studies and, and this and that, but mainly phys ed, yeah. High school phys ed teachers were the butt of all the jokes I know. in high school. You weren't, uh, you didn't take any of that personally, I hope. I never, well, no, you can't, right? So, but uh, I, I, I liked my job. It was really good, but uh, no one ever cheered for me at the end of a lesson the way they do at the end of a show. You know <laughs> what I mean?